Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new video and in today's video we're going to be going over the top enchants for your sword. This will be a series for every different kind of item and tool in the game. So we're going over armor, hose, da uh, pickaxes, axes, spades, uh, shovels, whatever you want to call them. But we're going to be going over everything including bows and what kind of arrows you should be using. This can go for PvP and PvE. So make sure you stay tuned, make sure you turn those notifications on. So you can stay up to date with exactly what you need to be the best at Minecraft. Now the first enchant you're gonna work enchant enchant you're gonna want to work for is gonna be knockback. Now obviously enchants come in levels, so you're gonna wanna kidnap a librarian. Now uh, kidnapping a librarian sounds a bit scary, but don't worry, it's not too bad. So work towards with your librarian to get to knockback five. And that'll be the best thing because this knocks back the person possibly up to 15 blocks. Uh, it can also do its three blocks, so it's a bit uneven, un unsettled. But if it does knock them back by 15 blocks, that is extremely good and worth having. And the best thing to back this up with, you can probably guess, is flame. Now, if you can get flame five as well with knockback five, your weapon is already extremely powerful because if you knock them back 15 blocks, they've got flame on. By the time they get back to you, they're going to be dead, so you can just hit something once, and they're dead. Also, another thing you need to work for is sharpness. Now, it doesn't matter if you get sharpness 5 or sharpness 2, but just try not to work on sharpness 1. Anything over 2 is perfectly fine, but the problem is with 1, sharpness 1, it's not it's not that good. It doesn't make that much of a difference. I think it's about 1 damage difference. So if you can get sharpness 5, that means your weapon can do at least 12, 12 damage each hit, so that is really worth having. Now this is all really worth having, but if you have a weapon that will not last a long time, like a wooden sword, it's really, really worth having mending on your sword. I 100% agree that you should get mending on any weapon you get, but this is extremely rare to get. So if you are going to get mending, be careful, because obviously it mends over time with your experience. If you're trying to get experience, 100% do not get mending, just get duplicates of the sword and then go to an anvil and then you know, just put the swords, the, your sword, and then the duplicate of the sword, and then there you go, it's, it's back up to 100 health. But yeah, if, if you don't if you don't want to lose your experience, then do not get mending, is, it's probably a massive mistake, I've done that a lot of times, but mending is really worth having. Obviously you can get your experience back quite easy, um, but always, each day, whenever you log on, try to get about 30 to 40 XP each day. Now, obviously this is a really small video, I just wanted to get back to back videos, uh, there'll probably be two videos out today if you're a bit confused on why, why I've uploaded twice today, uh, it's because I just wanted to get a couple of enchant videos out and, and yeah, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video, peace.